All right, everybody, we're all ready for shoulder shaping in our weekender sweater. So we should be on a wrong side row. We should have purled to the first stitch to the marker, done our marker stuff with the center seam, purled to the end to three stitches before the end or whatever amount your size says. So for my size, it is purled to the last three stitches in the row. And then it says wrap and turn. So wrap and turn short rows are a... A uh, method of doing short rows where you anchor your yarn using a stitch, using the wrap and turn method, so that when you turn your work, you don't end up with a giant hole, and it also gives your yarn something to hang on to, so that you can knit easily from it. Okay, so wrap and turn. I'm here three stitches before the end of my row. My yarn is sitting to the front. What I want to do is bring the yarn between the needles, move the next stitch over, and then bring the yarn back between the needles and put that stitch back where it belongs. What this does is it completely wraps that stitch in yarn. See how this yarn totally encircles it? This is the wrap right there. Now we haven't worked anything with this stitch, we've just wrapped the yarn around it. Now comes the turn. Turn your piece around and you're ready for the next row of knitting which is also a short row. So short row literally means you're working your rows short. So here's my wrap right there. And now for ease of our next step, what I'm gonna take is a little removable clippy stitch marker and I'm gonna put it on the wrap. And I know it's the wrap because it's movable. Uh-oh, needle fell out. It is movable here, see that? Because it's my working yarn. So I'm gonna put my little removable stitch marker on it. So that way when I need to come back and resolve our wrap stitch, which you'll see at the end of this section, I know exactly what they're talking about. Okay, so now we're ready for the second row of short rows. So we're gonna knit to the marker, slid marker, do our seam stuff, and then knit to the last three stitches in this row. And then we get to wrap and turn again. I'm here in short row number two, and I've just about completed the knitting portion of this row. So I'm knitting across till there are three stitches left in the row. And we're going to wrap and turn again. So here I am with three stitches left, and I'm gonna wrap around the following stitch, this guy right here. So to do this on a knit side, Every single time you want to go for a wrap and turn, here's what you do. Bring your yarn between the needles, move the next stitch over, put the yarn back between the needles, and put the stitch back over to the left needle where it belongs. Now, this was the knit side, and the other side that you saw first was the purl side. So each time, rather than thinking about directionality or difference on knit or purl, what I want you to do, let me undo this so that you can see this, Anytime you're about to wrap and turn, think, bring the yarn between the needles, move the stitch over, put the yarn between the needles again, and move the stitch back over. And it doesn't matter where your yarn is, you're always going to move the yarn between the needles, move stitch, move the yarn between the needles in the opposite direction, and put the stitch back. So that was our wrap. Now I can turn, and now I want to make sure I put a removable marker on the wrap. So I'm finding my little wrap, it's this piece of yarn right there, see that it's movable, it's wrapped around this stitch here, and I'm going to clip my stitch marker on it. And I can double check and make sure that that's the wrap by pulling on my working yarn, and if it tightens it up, which it sure does, that's the wrap. So now we're ready for short row three, and you're going to keep working these short rows back and forth. Um, until you reach row 13. Rows 13 and 14 tell us we need to resolve our wrapped stitches across. And what that means is we are going to get rid of this wrap thing that's like sitting in front of our stitches, and we're gonna knit it with the stitch that was wrapped. So let me show you exactly what that means. But in our pattern, here's where it is. It says, purl to first stitch before marker, slip one with yarn once a, with yarn in back. That's just the, your seam stitch. It says, purl to the end of the row, 
resolving the wrap stitches as you come to them. So all of this rest of the step is a description on how she resolves her wraps, but since we put our handy little markers in, it's going to be even easier for us to resolve our wraps. So when you get to the end of your row and it's time to resolve any wraps you come to, which will be clearly marked by the mar markers, here's what we need to do. You knit to the little guy, or purl to the little guy, whatever side you're on. <laughs> and when you come to that stitch, oop, try not to knit your marker. When you come to that stitch, you're gonna pull on the marker, see how it's lifting the wrap, and then we're gonna put it on the needle. The marker creates a nice little handle. So then this is my wrap, this is the real stitch, and then we're gonna knit or purl them together as if they are one stitch. And that resolves your wrap. So quickly again, anytime you come to a wrap that's marked with your marker, you're going to put the wrap, pulling your marker, using it to open up the wrap, and put it on the needle. And you're going to knit those two together, the real stitch with the wrap you just put on your needle. And that resolves it. And you can take your marker off and continue along in your row.